Reactions have trailed the 3% and 2% charges on deposits and withdrawals in banks introduced by the Central Bank of Nigeria. I was afraid because it's going to affect both the depositors and uh, the businessmen because this is going to discourage people from going to bank to deposit their money. It's fine, they can stop it to encourage people bringing their money into the banking system, leaving it there, while they immediately go ahead to do what they need to do to make sure the cashless policy that Zanabank is pursuing is achieved without making people to pay for it. The House of Representatives in a unanimous motion wants the CBN to suspend the directive. The time is not right for it. It's a good move. But the time is not right for it. Because Nigerians are really going through pains. We are having a spate of economic pagme. We, 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 our economy has certainly no dived. The security implication of the cash transaction charges has been reviewed, which would be a growing concern. Now, the issue of uh, cashless policy was implemented on the 18th of uh, September. What happened? Within two days, the fast track is. These are things that we need to sit down and tell ourselves the truth. And one of the things that I see that of late that is happening, you see that you see a lot of uh, kidnapping, uh, one chance everywhere. Because number one, the, the unemployment rate in Nigeria is high. As far as I'm concerned, that policy is a dead policy. The truth is that it's going to, because once they know that people are moving about with money now, the, the, the rate of armed robbery and kidnapping is going to be increased. So government should look into it and address it immediately. While the economic realities to these have been pointed out, the cashless policy suspension or perhaps its implementation still hangs in the balance. Roots TV, Nigeria.